Hey guys, I'm Sean Patrick Flannery, and this week for Sure Dog's Technique of the Week, I'm going to introduce you to one of the best kept secrets in Los Angeles. The East Coast has John Danaher, the West Coast has a guy that I started training with over 10 years ago at the Hickson Gracie Academy. The closest living thing to Hickson, Henry Akins. Check it out. Hey guys, Henry Akins here. Uh, we're here at Dynamics Martial Arts, and I'm going to show you guys some techniques for Sure Dog Technique of the Week. Today, we're gonna to be showing the head and arm choke from the mount. Most people that do the head and arm actually jump off the mount to, to get the head and arm because they feel it puts more pressure. Um, for me, I never like losing my position to go for a submission. Um, if I jump off the mount to go for the head and arm, if I do something like this and jump off the mount, one, it gives his body a lot more room to move. He can. He actually has quite a few escapes from this position from the head and arm. His body is free to move. He can either roll out, shoot up, swing his legs. There's a bunch of things that he can do. So anytime I go for the head and arm, um, I prefer to keep the mount. That way, at least if he gets out, I'm still mounted. Um, so let's go for the head and arm. First thing I want to do, well, if he has his arms down, I can always get underneath his arm and walk his arm up. But the first thing I want to do is I'm going to cup his shoulder. Okay. I want to slide my arm all the way underneath the head. And now what I'm going to do is I lean my weight to the side. Okay. When I lean my weight to the side, what I have is my bicep and my shoulder closing in one part of his neck. So I'm here. All I do is lean my weight to the side. And this already cuts off one side. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is use my head I want to keep my head low on his shoulder. I don't want to have my head high on his arm. Okay, it makes it very, very difficult to finish if I'm high on his arm because he can defend it. So I want to put my head right by the shoulder. And now all I'm going to do is after I lean one side, to close off one side, my head leans in to cut off the other side. Okay, so all I'm using is weight. All I'm using is my body weight on one side and my head moves into the other side to close off the space in the neck. Um, it's a very, very tight choke, and it's just about getting the feel. I don't want to lift my butt, and I don't want to drive into his chin. I see a lot of people trying to push all their weight into the chin. There's no, uh, there's no lifting your butt. All it is is going sideways. So I go one side, put my shoulder towards my wrist. That closes off that side of the neck. And now all I'm going to do is use my head low by the shoulder, and I'm going to lean my head towards the side. Um, this way of doing it actually prevents him from being able to defend. Uh, you see a lot of guys trying to do this, and they open their arm or try to create space here. If I'm high, he can open his elbow or bring his elbow away from his neck, and that creates a lot of space, right? But if I'm low by the shoulder, there's no way that he can bring his shoulder away from his neck. No matter how much he brings his, opens up his arm, even if he opens up here, as soon as I start to lean my head, he's still going to choke because the shoulder does not move away from the shoulder does not move away from the neck, right? So there's no defense for the pressure I put on this side. And once my head goes on the ground next to his shoulder, close up all the space. That way you don't need to jump off the mount and lose your position. And uh, even if he tries to defend by putting his arm up or trying to open up the elbow, you'll still get it because even if he brings the arm away from the head, there's no way he can bring his shoulder away from his neck because it's attached. Um, thanks a lot, guys, and uh, thank you for watching Sherdog's Technique of the Week.